Okay, I did promise you something out of the ordinary and something really useful, so let's jump into it. I would like to create something that's called a vignette, because this background looks really plain, it's very bold, it has no effect on it. I just watch on the whole background and I don't see any adjustment, it's too basic. So a vignette is a small blurred background, which you often see in photos. So how can you do this in PowerPoint? Let's delete this pattern rectangle and let's simply create a shape. Go to insert shapes and use this shape. Let's make it big for the enti entire slide. Of course, I have to resize it a bit. Luckily, it's snapping automatically to the grid. And this is the next cool feature why I use PowerPoint, because it's so straightforward and so easy. And let's use this rectangle now. Of course, we have to get rid of the shape outline. Just go, no outline. And now comes the editing. I right click on it, I go to format shape. As you already know, you can fill it with a gradient. I use this gradient, I make it a full black one. Of course, while using the radial, I have to change the direction. Okay, this doesn't quite look like a vignette. So our next step is to go to the drawing tools and send it to back. Okay, not much change it, but we are getting closer now. You can leave out this third color. You only need two colors for this because a vignette is most likely the black, the black here on left on the right. As I have this color here, I make it to white and I work with the transparency. I would like to have the whole middle completely transparent. I want to see the background. So I just go ahead and make it fully transparent. This doesn't look as cool now, but we are really close to having a nice vignette. I just take the transparency from there. And as I see, I made a mistake. Oh, yes, it can be black. You have to turn the opacity. And now, as I shift it, I have a really nice layer, which is actually a vignette. You can play with it around a little bit and check how it will look. For example, I take it here and I think I sh should shift the colors a little bit. So let me take the outer color and move it a little bit. Okay, the transparency is too strong. Yep. I make it like this. Maybe this a little bit less. All right, so this looks interesting now. And let me t drag it over here. And as you see, oh no, the middle is too dark. So the middle has to be either a bit more transparent or moved. No, the move is okay. So I just work with the transparency. Also here, making it a little bit more transparent. Nice. This looks way more professional and it will look even better when we have everything finished. So as you, as you see, this is how you create the vignette. The only problem is now if you have many objects, like this would be the subscribe button and some, sometimes when you, you want to grab the button and you just grab this. So there is a workaround on how to do this. I just copy and paste it. I take it I, by pressing Ctrl X to cut it out and I go to something which is called the slide master. Let me shift this. Slide masters I, are global options for your presentation. So I go to slide master and in the first slide I just copy it. As you see, it was applied to every slide. And now, after closing the view, the vignette is already here. And as I create a new slide, the vignette is also here. So I can just delete this now. If something went wrong and the vignette didn't work like in the first slide, you can also 
always go to no new slides and work on, on these. And as you see, they have already a prepared vignette. And now I will just go to picture. Also, this pattern looks a really, <laughs> really much better with the vignette. So I just take this and voila, a new effect on this basic pattern. Don't worry if you have any troubles with it. Eventually, you can skip the part with the slide master. It isn't mandatory, but it certainly helps because this is an object and we will sometimes randomly click on it. And we don't want, we want it to be in the background and don't annoy us. And look at the difference. This pattern looks really bad. And watch what happens when I use this vignette. It really looks more appearing. Even this awful pattern, which I, my eyes are bleeding when I watch watching this, but it gets a little bit better with the vignette. So I really recommend you use it and don't worry, I will give you the project file I'm working here. It's vignette resource. And you can just go in the project file, right click on it, go to format shape and check out how did I make this play with the colors it doesn't have to be black you can make a bluish for example blue like that and just make it transparent and as you see it will have a little glow a blue glow in the middle and this is how you use it i hope this is useful and don't worry if you have now any troubles when we will create the outro it will flow from itself automatically so don't worry i will teach you everything step by step if you have any trouble just hit me up in the course and or write me an email and I will be gladly helping you.